annals of American songwriting, one of the very best was a charming gentleman from Savannah, Georgia, by the name of Johnny Mercer. This morning, we have a wonderful excuse to celebrate the music of Johnny Mercer, a new book called Our Huckleberry Friend, The Lifetimes and Lyrics of Johnny Mercer by Bob Bach and by Johnny's widow, Ginger. With me to help celebrate the music of Johnny Mercer are two friends of his, Mel Torme and Margaret Whiting. Margaret's dad was composer Richard Whiting, and he was one of Mercer's great collaborators. And you two are as good as there is in the world of pop music, and that's very good indeed. Thank you. Thank you, Gene. What do you two think made Johnny Mercer's lyrics distinctive? I think he could write a song, any kind of a song, with for any idea. I mean, he writes country, pop, sophisticated, sly, shy. He, there wasn't anything he couldn't write. Yeah, I think the, the incredible range of Johnny Mercer was a guy that could write, my mama done told me, and then write something like, how do you say off Vita Zane, the Willemstrasse in the rain. Uh, <laughs> he's absolutely an extraordinary broad spectrum songwriter. No other lyricist wrote with so many composers, did he? That's absolutely true. So no matter what style there was, he could accommodate to absolutely. that style. He was tremendously in demand. And you know, uh, uh, Jerome Kern used to call him Cloud Boy because he'd get on a couch and he'd, he'd, uh, Kern would play a melody. He'd put his arm over his eyes and begin to think about it. But I used to spend a lot of time, and so did Margaret with John, on Sundays at a place called the Encore on La Cienega in yeah. Hollywood. And we would gather a bunch of singers and songwriters, and he would make up spontaneous lyrics that were witty and clever and had a point. He had everybody in stitches or in awe. Speaking of awe, we have one of the, if not the best, pianists of this kind in the world oh, with yes. us today, oh. Mike Renzi. There's oh, nobody oh, like yes. it. Oh. And Mike is going to play a lot of Mercer songs. And without any <laughs> warning to you, you have no idea what's coming, oh, right? Oh, my goodness. And you're going to sing us Putting us on our metal. <laughs> okay, well, here's one that he wrote with Bogie Carmichael, Mercer and Carmichael. Lazy bones. Sleeping in the sun, how you expect to get your day's work done? Never get your day's work done. Sleeping in the noonday sun. Johnny and Jerome Kern wrote this. I'm old fashioned. I love the moonlight. I love the old fashioned thing. One of my favorite composers wrote this with Johnny Mercer. Jeepers, creepers, where'd you get those peepers? Jeepers, creepers, where'd you get those eyes? And that was Harry Warren. How about Jimmy Van Usen and Mercer? I took a trip on a train, and I thought about you. I passed a shadowy lane, and I thought about you. This was Mercer and Ruby Bloom. Day in, yeah. day out. The same old hoodoo follows me about. Picture Shirt Singer, the director, wrote this with Johnny. I remember you. You're the one who made my dreams come true. You did. <laughs> One of his most successful collaborations, Johnny Mercer's, that is, was with a great composer named Harold Arlen. Remember this? My mama done told me when I was in knee pants. My mama done told me, son, a woman of sweet talk. I give you the glad eye. But when the sweet talking's done, a woman's two faced a worrisome thing who'll leave you to sing the blues <laughs> in the night. This song was written for you. Speaking of, that low note early uh, speaking of women, how about David Raxton and Johnny writing? Laura is the face in the misty light. Footsteps that you hear down the hall. And Mercer was even international. This he wrote with Joe Cosma. Great song. The autumn leaves drip by my window. The fallen leaves of red and gold. Philip Gerard and Johnny. Ah, the apple tree 
blossoms in the breeze that we walked among lying in the hay games we used to play while the rounds were sung only yesterday when the world was young Great song. and of course made in heaven duke ellington and johnny mercer a cigarette holder which wigs me over her shoulder she digs me out catting that satin dog he won four academy awards but this is one of them with hank mancini moon river wider than a mile I'm crossing you in style someday. We mustn't forget his collaboration with a superb composer, Richard Whiting, who, as Gene said, just happens to be her father. You're just too marvelous, too marvelous for words. Like glorious, glamorous, and that old standby amorous. You're just too wonderful. I'll never find the words. That say enough or tell enough. I mean, they're just not swell enough. You're much too much and oh, too very, very to ever be in Mr. Webster's dictionary. And, and so, so I'm borrowing a love song from the birds to tell you that you're marvelous, too marvelous for words. Johnny Mercer, boy. The best. The best. Thank you, Gene. Thank you. Boy, if Mike, you could play applause, that would be the appropriate <laughs> song to play right now, which he didn't write. Mel Torme, Margaret Whiting, Mike Renzi, and the book is My Huckleberry Friend, a cavalcade of text and pictures and lyrics of Johnny Mercer. Thank you for this memorable session. Thank we loved you. it. Thank you.